Well, welcome back. This is Harlan Gerger with AskHG.com, and we're here with the 33rd tip for body language, and we're still working with the facial aspects of things. And we're talking about contempt. I mean, people show contempt uh, when they hear something, see something, uh, something triggers that, and I, I don't like this. And contempt shows something we call the nose wrinkle. See how the nose kind of wrinkles a little bit? You'll see that nose wrinkle. It's different than up here. It's more down in the nostril area. Uh, the lips are generally raised. The top lip will raise. The tights of the mouth will come up, which sometimes is uh, mistaken for a smile or similar to a smile, but it isn't. It's really that kind of a contempt. It'll be kind of a sneer kind of viewpoint as you look at the entire face. So when you're thinking about how are people feeling, how are they reacting to what you're either doing or saying or the situation, if you start seeing this nose wrinkle and the mouth tighten up, you may be de dealing with that idea that there's some contempt here. They're not happy with something or they're not really appreciating what's going on here. So be conscious of that. Again, I would also say, think of yourself, look in the mirror, see how you respond with contempt and how it feels so that you can be sure that you're sending the right signals. And when you start feeling that contempt feeling, you say, wait a minute, I need to change my signals that I'm sending to people with it. Or I want to send a contempt signal because I'm across the room at a table and I want to tell the other person not to say yes to this. And I may show a contempt face to them and they kind of, oh, he doesn't like this. So there's many ways that you can use body language in these body signals. So Harlan Gerger here, Ask HG. We will catch you next time.